What's up guys, welcome back to my garage. Uh, today I have two cars, and that is sort of uh, a first in about a few weeks. The uh, new Land Rover Defender pulling out of a parking spot just scraped up against the Stealth, and it was away getting fixed for a bit. Unfortunately, the police could not find any tapes on it, so it is what it is. But it's back, it's fixed, it's looking better than ever and um, fresh oil, so nothing to complain about there. However, the 911, uh, let me just show you what's going on. So here we are in the Porsche. At first glance, everything seems to be just fine. Just, just okay. You know, put the key in, everything lights up. I get my oil readout and everything's looking good. I don't know if you caught that, but nothing. And that seems to be because of uh, a bad ignition switch. And I'll show you guys what it looks like under there. It's, it's a bit concerning. I have my ductwork removed so you can see in here a bit better. That is my ignition switch right there. And I don't know if you could see this wiring, but... It's just an absolute disaster. It, someone had put a remote starter in here and rewired all this and then eventually removed it. So what was left was sort of this wiring soup. And for the life of me, I cannot figure out which one of these wires is faulty. And the color coding is all wrong. As you can see, there's, there's just live wires going to nothing. So I can't actually tell what does what and what's going wrong. And replacing the ignition switch is not going to do anything. So, unless one of you knows a lot about the wiring that comes out of the ignition switch, I, I looked up every wiring diagram that I could online and could not seem to find anything that was of help for this mess that I'm dealing with. Um, but if any of you sort of from, from looking at that can pause the video and make some sense of that and, and want to help me out, let me know. Otherwise, it's scheduled to go to the mechanics next Monday. So, We'll see how that goes. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. They've had to fix it in the past. Sort of a similar issue, it wasn't starting. Um, and there's not really as detailed of a record as there would need to be to find out which wire went wrong the last time. So um, yeah, we'll find out. Um, but if any of you wanna help me and uh, wanna reach out to me, I can even send more pictures of anything. Um, I would like to be able to fix this sooner than that. In the meantime, it's been like this for about a week and a half, and I've been rolling it back and forth to avoid flat spots, and um, I just, I feel bad letting the engine sit like that, but it does need an oil change anyway, so nothing too bad, but uh, if you guys want to help me out, let me know, and uh, that's sort of an update on my cars, and I am applying for colleges and everything right now, so I'm a bit busy. Hard to make YouTube videos, unfortunately, but I hopefully will be slowing down with all that soon. I just took my last SAT, so yeah. And uh, let me know how you guys are doing in the comments because I like hearing from you guys. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one and please, somebody help me. <laughs> Bye camera.